Hi everybody, I hope you're all well. It's Vlogmas day seven today, and I am gonna start getting ready. I've got uh, quite a few things to do. I've been very busy. It's actually about four o'clock in the afternoon already. I haven't even filmed anything yet, um, but I have been very busy. I've been sewing the patterns for our box, which I can't show you, and I'm about to do some photography and video for that, for our secret uh, vlog. But there's something I wanted to show you. I just purchased myself this week. And you'll see here, this is my natural hair. I've just washed it. And it's got natural wave. Um, but it's a bit, kind of goes frizzy. If I don't like straighten it or um, curl it with the um, straightening wand, which I normally do. It just goes very fluffy and wavy. Um, but it hasn't got real defined wave. So... I actually bought myself um, something in the Black Friday sales. So I bought this new Remington adjustable waver. Now, many years ago, um, my twin daughters had the Mermaid waves, which I think we've still got, but it's very, very big and very hard to use with one hand. But I like the fact that this is a bit more, um, bit, a bit, bit more ergonomically designed and it does quite a few different variations on the just kind of messy waves, which is what I'm after. So I'm going to give it a go and tell you guys what I think. Now, one thing that did stand out to me uh, about basically doing hair and having appliances in the bathroom, Charlotte got back from the UK, my daughter, and she said that you guys don't have PowerPoints in any of your bathroom areas. Um, so you have to do your hair in the bedroom. So that is really strange to us. Here in Australia, we have PowerPoints. And of course, you don't use your appliances in the bath or near water. Um, but uh, all of our electrical work has to be done by certified electricians. Uh, we are not allowed to do any uh, of our own um, renovations and that kind of thing with electrical work unless we have a certified electrician to sign things off. So very strict like that. Um, but yeah, I cannot imagine having no PowerPoint in the, the bathroom to do your hair with. So how do you guys get on with that? lighting in here but what do you think I'm actually quite impressed with how well it waved my hair because I have really thick hair this one is actually the smallest waver kind of reminds me of the old 80s crimping days but with a bit more of a wave than just that flat frizz so um, there are adjustable depths of waves. I am yet to even read the instructions on this this is how terrible I am I get something new and just rip it out of the box and start without even reading the instructions but from the look of it there is adjustable size waves. So there's four different waves. You've got the undone look, the loose beachy, deep and defined and flowing mermaid. So I'm gonna have a muck around with that and try the different size waves. But first time to use it, I have to say, I'm pretty impressed with the amount of wave it gets in my hair. So it will definitely need a bit more refining. Um, I think that would even work well if my hair was straightened first and, and had the frizz taken out of it and then um, crimped or you know waved and the curl would be more defined. But yeah I'm really impressed. It's just a Remington and of course bought myself not totally not um, not affiliated with Remington in any way and I got it for like $80 on the I think it was JB Hi-Fi had Black Friday sale. So for that price it's not too bad. You're not paying a fortune. I know some hair straighteners and waivers, you can pay literally hundreds of dollars. Um, and in the past, I've used um, a Remington straightener before and been quite happy with it. So I just think it's worth, it was worth giving it a go. I just um, use a bit of Pantene Miracle Oil through the ends to, to get the frizz out. And when I, before I straighten or blow dry my hair, I always use um, a heat protectant, of course, because you end up frizzing the ends if you do that too much without protecting first. But... Yeah, I have to say I'm fairly impressed and I'm really keen on trying the, the bigger style waves because I think that would suit me a bit more than this um, finer kind of wave. But yeah, fairly happy with the results so far. Hi everyone, thanks for joining me here at the Dali Society Vlogmas Day 7. Um, yeah, I was 
impressed with that new Remington hair waver. I would be uh, very interested to see the bigger barrel waves because I think this is more giving me vibes of maybe the 80s, the old weave perms I used to have. Did anyone else have those? Well, we're after that kind of beachy, wavy look and they used to do every second sort of strand, leave it out so you get that sort of shaggy look. Um, maybe a bit more mermaidy than shaggy this, but the bigger barrel, uh, we'll figure out how to convert it over and maybe I'll show you that one another day. But yeah, so far so good because my hair is quite um, thick and it does get, uh, needs something good to wave it, I must say. Uh, and it's quite an easy way of getting waves because curling wands and that type of thing do take a lot of time up. And you know, something like this is a bit different than having this, the dead straight hair all the time. So yeah, not too bad. Um, so I picked that up in the sale this week. That was uh, not a bad buy on special. Today I'm wearing a nice cool dress. I haven't got the strapless bra, you'll see the old bra strip, which I don't like showing. Um, but that is because I'm about to get changed and do some photography and video for the box um, pattern that I'm making. So normally I would wear a strapless bra, but I'm a bit lazy today. So yeah, I just thought this is a really nice cool dress. It's made from double gauze. It's really lovely when it's a hot day like it is today. Very humid again in the 30s again today and this humidity will not budge. Phoebe did say the forecast looks like there's not too many overly warm days next week. Just nice sort of 20 degrees here and there which is perfect. Um, so we'll be looking forward to that. Um, I've got these little earrings on which I purchased last year from Lacey Lou Handmade. These are cute little resiny glittery Christmas tree earrings. I thought they matched the dress really nice. Um, but yeah, it's a really nice, cool, easy, swishy dress on a hot day. Um, today I had the opportunity to go out with my twin daughters Charlotte and Eliza but I couldn't go because I've just got too much on. I've got lots to prepare and edit and um, get these boxes prepared. Um, so I said to them, I have to give it a miss because they were going to the Yarrow Valley Christmas market, which would be so good. Uh, we just went up to the Yarrow Valley a month or two ago for a winery weekend. We stayed at a beautiful winery up there and it is just such a beautiful place to go, especially for... Um, gorgeous you know homegrown like there's lots of wines and cheeses and olives and all sorts of yummy things so it's going to be a really good Christmassy market um so I did say to them can you sneak a bit of footage in for me because I'm sure you guys would all love to see the beautiful Yarra Valley Christmas market uh but would hope to get there maybe next year when I have a bit more time on my hands that I'll make I will slot it in and make sure I um, remember the dates because it is a good hour and a bit from us drive so it's one of those things you need to do a bit of planning for. So they will take some footage. Hopefully it's good footage. <laughs> and I did tell them to bring me back some goodies. If there's anything lovely they see there that we can have for Christmas time on the table, that would be really nice as well. So looking forward to seeing what they bring back. Um, so let's do the calendar. And also I've got to show you a couple of things I got yesterday. Um, so the calendar in the machine. Um, luckily I got the patterns, there was two patterns I got sewn up this morning. I got up really early, got everything cut out and sewn up. Um, yeah, so by two o'clock I was done. So I was pretty happy with that. So I can't wait to show you all what I made. Um, this number seven says, a winner, use this for your tried and true favorite patterns that never let you down. And it is the parrot. Okay, so we've got day seven. Getting through these. Banger. And oh, two of them say banger. Okay, bangers. <laughs> Don't you love the phrase banger? Usually when you find a good song, it's always a banger, isn't it? Banger. Okay, let's see if I can show you guys that. And you'd be pretty happy with a garment if you can put a label in that says banger. So yesterday, I told you all I was on a mission to find some little dessert glasses. I hunted high and low and I couldn't find what I wanted. Um, I did find some other things, but I wasn't overly happy with what I ended up with. And I ended up coming home, going online to Maya last night and ordering them online because on the online store, they had what I wanted, but not in the physical store. How frustrating is that? So I probably didn't even need to waste my time walking around after all, but I ended up with a few nice bits and pieces. Now, these are really cute. These were in our reject store. And of course, anyone from overseas will not know reject store is basically like the um, Poundland in the UK or 
the dollar store in the US. So basically we call them $2 shops. Um, not everything is $2, of course, but the reject shops, sometimes you can find really amazing little things. Now, I was looking for dessert dishes, glass ones preferably, but I found these really cute little bowls and they are little zebra bowls. Really cute. They had matching plates. Um, the only thing is they're not dishwasher safe, which I know I'm terrible with that. And uh, I get told off all the time when I have these special fancy little cups with gold detailing and they go in the dishwasher and they end up getting wrecked. So I must try and hand wash them. Um, so I didn't want to get the whole collection of the dishes because I didn't really want to have to hand wash them. Uh, and I know they'll end up getting that gold wearing off. But I just thought they were so cute really lovely i really like them and i end up getting the cute little egg cups as well because i love an egg in an egg cup it's a little elephant on this one so they had matching like rectangular plates matching round plates bigger platters they had the whole collection so that was in the reject shop uh, and i'm pretty sure they're fairly new but they have got some really nice little fruit plates and like pineapple shaped dishes and um yeah really really cute so um, yeah, so it does say try to hand wash them only. We'll see. So we popped into Spotlight because the youngest daughter needed some felt. She had been crocheting a snowman and she needed a little carrot nose. Um, so we got some felt in there and I found these dishes um, on special as well. I think they were down to $12 for a box of six. Um, they weren't really what I was after. I didn't want the stem on the bottom, if you know what I mean, because they're hard to sort of store. Um, they're really cute um, and they're a really great price and I will use them especially for things like you know, ice cream or sorbet but I wanted particular ones without the stem with more of a bowl shape. So I got these anyway because they are a great price and I can probably keep the box to store them in um, but ended up finding what I needed online after all that. So and that's what shopping will do. They can walk around, waste your energy, you get frustrated and you go home and find it online. So. Uh, I did get a couple more things in Spotlight. I got a handbag because, not a handbag, a handbag. Um, do you guys use these for your Christmas hams? Of course, we like our ham cold in the fridge for hot summers here for Christmas. And you um, wet cold water and a bit of vinegar on them and soak them and wring them out and you store your ham in them to keep them fresh in the fridge instead of putting them plastic wrap over them. It keeps them nice and fresh. And you just need to re, you know, rinse them every few days to keep the moisture in. So I always buy one of them every year. And I like that these had the Aussie animals on them as well. Very cute. And then I ended up, um, I was going to go and find that duck, I should say duck's wound or dash hound. It really depends on what you've been brought up saying, but duck's wound is a proper terminology for uh, sausage dogs. It's another name we used to call them. Uh, the apron, the Christmas apron from Adair's. I couldn't find them and I could not be bothered going back into the huge store at Fountain Gate. And now that may sound familiar to a lot of you guys overseas. Fountain Lakes is the name you may be familiar with from Kath and Kim, a famous Aussie comedy. And that was modelled on Fountain Gate, which is a shopping centre um, that I used to work at many, many years ago. And I think I've mentioned this before, but we used to have in the early 90s when I worked there, at Suzanne, um, it was a very small centre back then. We used to have a homeware shop opposite us called Home Delights, and they used to sell collectible like, dinner sets and crockery, and the ladies in there had grey bobs and aprons, and I swear that um, Kath and Kim, um, Jane Turner and Gina Riley have modelled their characters prue and true on the ladies that worked there, because they've definitely taken Fountain Lakes from Fountain Gate but Home Delights, I reckon it was the shop where True and True worked. So I wish I could show you. I wish I could travel, time travel back in time and show these ladies with their aprons and their grey bobs, but it was that shop for sure. So I remember buying my first dinner set um, before we got married. And back in those days, do you remember the term the glory box? It was a camphor wooden chest um, that I got for my 16th birthday and you would buy things and put them in your glory box so that when you got married you had um, days before people lived together of course while they got married we didn't we, we got married first and then lived together which is another kind of old-fashioned thing now isn't it um, but we put you know sheets and towels and I collected things and stored them in this wooden canvas chest that was from copper art back in the 80s the old copper art that was 
another store that no longer exists. So I would go to Home Delights to be served by these ladies who I now know as Pure and True. And I got my first Eternal Bow dinner set, which was a beautiful um, collectible dinner set that we still use these days for our Christmas lunch. So there's a bit of history for you about Fountain Lakes, but I do love Kath and Kim. I absolutely love rewatching all the reruns of it. Such a hilarious show, such great actors, such funny writing. And Glenn Robinson, of course, Cal, I uh, love him too. So yeah, big fan. So yes, the other thing I got here was um, an apron because I couldn't get the Dachshund apron, which I wanted for my dad. But so. this one is just an Aussie animal um, apron. So I definitely needed one of those. And the last thing I bought was some beautiful Christmassy tea towels, which I love the little stocking one with the embroidered little bits on the bottom. Really practical. The only thing is that when you get new tea towels, they never dry the dishes very well. So I probably should be breaking them in for a while before I need to use them. But I thought they were very cute. Thanks for joining me today. Hopefully tomorrow I have some goodies to show you from the Yarra Valley Market. I'm hoping they don't forget about me and bring me back some goodies because I'm sure there'll be beautiful things. And the weather's turned out really nice. The rain has subsided, so they should have a really good night. Now, don't forget, tomorrow night, the 8th of December, is our Club Tropicana launch for Bespoke Boxes. They'll be launching at 7 p.m. daylight savings time, so make sure you have that ready on your alarm. I set your alarm so you don't forget, so that's really exciting. Have a wonderful night. Take care. We'll see you all soon. Bye for now.